Then we move on to this uh, question asking 54 year old man having some abdominal pain and also jaundice. Then there is some loss of appetite, weight loss, all that. His uh, radiographs, what they are showing is a slowly growing tumor of the uncinate process of the pancreas. So, so it is asking which of the following structure is most likely compressed by this tumor? Uncinate process of pancreas slow growing tumor? Yes, what it is going to compress and some names are given. Some vessels are given, you need to find out which one. And for that purpose, let us first look at the developing uncinate process of pancreas. Pancreas will be developing at the junction of the foregut and the midgut in the second part of the duodenum. And uh, there will be a ventral pancreatic bud and there is a dorsal pancreatic bud. Later, the ventral pancreatic bud will move around and uh, fuse with the dorsal pancreatic bud and uh, contribute to the uncinate process of pancreas and part of the head of pancreas also. Otherwise, most of the head is coming from the dorsal pancreatic bud and then the neck, the body and tail will also come from there as you can see in the next diagram. So here you can see the ventral pancreatic bud has rotated and fused with the dorsal pancreatic bud to form the uncinate process of the pancreas and also part of the lower head of pancreas. Otherwise, the major head of the pancreas, neck or body tail is coming from dorsal pancreatic bud. Also remember DD. What is DD? The dorsal pancreatic bud will form the distal pancreatic duct. So dorsal pancreatic bud will form distal pancreatic duct, then we will form the proximal pancreatic duct that is formed by the ventral pancreatic Bird. So the main pancreatic duct proximally is contributed by the ventral pancreatic duct. Otherwise, the distal part of the pancreatic duct is by the dorsal pancreatic bud. Then what is this? This is some accessory pancreatic duct and uh, that is the duct of Santorini. If that is the duct of Santorini, who is forming that? Of course, dorsal pancreatic bud. And what is the name of this duct here, which is proximally formed by ventral pancreatic bud? This is called as the Versung duct. Versung duct of the pancreas? Yes, proximally formed by main pancreatic duct and distally formed by dorsal pancreatic bud. Anyhow, we had a case of uh, uncinate process tumor. That tumor, what is it doing now? It may be compressing here in this region like the bile duct leading to jaundice. And what else, which vessels it can compress? That we have to discuss now. Let us draw the abdominal aorta here and which is giving us some arteries like uh, there is a celiac trunk for the foregut and then there will be a superior mesenteric artery for the midgut. And the superior mesenteric artery for the midgut is uh, running in this direction to supply the midgut derivatives. And then, then it is followed by a vein of the midgut which is called superior mesenteric vein. Where is that? We can show superior mesenteric vein here which is coming from the midgut and following the superior mesenteric artery. Okay, what is it doing after that? It is to be joined by the splenic vein. Where is splenic vein? It will be coming from the spleen. Then show it coming from spleen. This is the spleen here and it is now sending us the splenic vein and that splenic vein is going to join the superior mesenteric vein and together they will be forming the portal vein. And where the portal vein will be going? Portal vein will be going towards the liver, of course, here. So you are talking about the formation of portal vein, yes. How it is formed? There is a midgut draining into superior mesenteric vein joined by the splenic vein and then forming the portal vein to enter the liver. This is happening at transpyloric plane at the level of pylorus of the stomach where you see also given is the superior mesenteric artery and this is uh, happening behind the neck of the pancreas, behind the neck of the pancreas. Where is the neck of pancreas? Show it. And then you can draw the pancreas. You will see this is the pancreas we are showing and uh, it is going to reach the hilum of the spleen. Actually, tail of pancreas will go to the hilum of spleen and this is the body and this is the neck. So behind the neck of pancreas, you have the formation of the 
portal vein. If this is the neck region, that is the body region, and that is the tail region of pancreas, where is the head? The head enunciate process, now you can show. This is going to be the head of the pancreas. Okay, and then you will find the uncinate process is going here, in front of the aorta. Uncinate process is going in front of the aorta? Yes, and, and then you can show it here, the head. What are you trying to show here? What I'm trying to show here is, superior mesenteric vessels, they are passing anterior to uncinate process of pancreas but posterior to the neck of the pancreas. They are sandwiched between the two. What does that mean? It means superior mesenteric vessels are running posterior to the neck of pancreas, but anterior to the uncinate process of pancreas. Okay, you mean to say uncinate process of pancreas is running behind the superior mesenteric vessels? Yes. And uh, what is the use of knowing that? Use this. When there is an uncinate process tumor, it encompasses the superior mesenteric vessels. That will give us our answer. So it is going to compress superior mesenteric vessels? Yes. And why it is not compressing the splenic artery? Because splenic artery is not here. Then where is splenic artery? Splenic artery was given by the celiac trunk. Okay, then showed the splenic artery. Splenic artery was given by celiac trunk running on the superior border of the pancreas and then reaching the hilum of the spleen. You are telling that the celiac trunk will give splenic artery on the superior border of pancreas? Yes, and where is splenic vein? It is running behind the pancreas, behind the neck, behind the body, behind the tail of the pancreas. Okay, so you mean to say splenic artery will not be compressed in a tumor of uncinate process of pancreas? No, it will be the superior mesenteric artery or superior mesenteric vein. Okay, let us go back to our question then. But before that, you can see a diagram for yourself. This is the diagram which is telling us that superior mesenteric vein or superior mesenteric artery are passing in front of the uncinate process, but behind the neck of the pancreas. And if there's a tumor in the uncinate process of pancreas, it can compress the superior mesenteric artery and vein, supplying the midgut derivative. And where is the splenic artery. Splenic artery is a branch of the celiac trunk running on the superior border of the pancreas to reach the hilum of the spleen. Then where is splenic vein? Splenic vein, if you want to see, it will be behind the pancreas and then behind the neck of pancreas, it will be joined by superior mesenteric vein. Superior mesenteric vein will join the splenic vein behind the pancreas. Yes, behind the neck of pancreas and together they will be forming the portal vein, which you can see now. Here is shown the portal vein. Where is portal vein? This will be the portal vein, which will be going to drain into the liver. Then, so what is happening behind the neck of pancreas? At the transpyloric plane, there is a formation of the portal vein. Union of the two veins, they are basically superior mesenteric vein from the midgut and splenic vein from the spleen forming the portal vein. This is the diagram which we already have drawn. Okay, let us go back to our question then. And as you can understand, this is a case of a slowly growing tumor of uncinate process. And it is going to compress some of the structure. So, so what is compressed? And uh, you can find here, the answer would be, the answer would be choice number C. If you say the answer is choice number C, why don't you say the answer is choice number A? Because it is not here, it is running on the superior border of the pancreas. And why not portal vein? Because it is related to the neck of pancreas, not the uncinate process of pancreas. So who is related to uncinate process? The superior mesenteric artery and the vein crossing anterior to the uncinate process is our answer. And where is the superior pancreatoidal artery? That was actually running behind the first part of the duodenum, behind the head of the pancreas, supplying the upper head of the pancreas. So it is not related to uncinate process? No, it is not. Okay, so we'll keep our answer as choice number C. Yes, that's what.